Hello and welcome to Broad Lane. I'd just like to demonstrate the PSU power supply unit that is located in this Swift Fairway Platinum uh, 2021 model. And to do that, we need to come across to the uh, offside front seat at the front of the vehicle. So I'm just going to just move these cushions slightly out of the way so we've got better access to what I would like to demonstrate to you. So. Just raise everything up, it makes it easy, just so you can see what I'm looking at. So, PSU, power supply unit, made by a company called Sargent. This is the E600, EC600 model, and that side is 12 volts. This side is all to do with mains electrics, as it says here, 12 volt DC and 230 volt mains here. When you first couple up to mains electrics, uh, technically you should come inside the caravan and test the RCD, RCD, residual circuit device. The way you test it is to press the yellow button in here like so, and that lever should trip out, very much like that. That's exactly how it's meant to be. Uh, so I've just turned it back on, because uh, it did, did re, uh, trip out, which is what it was meant to do. If it doesn't trip, you haven't got a main supply coming into this vehicle. So just check with the site owner if that doesn't do that. What it signifies, if anybody's using mains inside this vehicle, you're going to be perfectly safe because it trips out in milliseconds should there be an issue with the vehicle. And then we've got MCBs here. Uh, an MCB is like a fuse, but where fuses blow, you have to replace them. Uh, these, All these do is just trip out. You, they're resettable. You just push it back up into that direction like so. Uh, so we've got three MCBs. If I just load the front face of this... Uh, unit down okay so we've got a nice diagram here this is the main side of stuff and that is the 12 volt on the mcbs it says item one is a 10 amp supply and it serves the sockets within this vehicle uh, item two mcb2 is a 16 amp supply again that is now serving the heating system and sockets and mcb3 is a 10 amp supply serving the refrigerator and other auxiliary devices uh, right, so that's a quick explanation as to how it distributes from here off these MCBs and there's one, two and three. And I'm now just going to come across onto the panel itself again. Um, you can see that we've got a series of three potential lights. I say potential, we don't want that one to illuminate. So the red we don't want actually to be illuminated. It means we've got reverse polarity and that really only applies when we're on the continent. The continental uh, plug is a two pin plug and you can have it inserted into the socket the incorrect way. So all it is is a case of pulling the plug out, turn it around, insert it the other way and that should uh, overcome that uh, red light polarity there. This uh, green one is obviously the battery charger as it says and that's this little unit, this grey unit just on the front face of, uh, of this housing. And then the other one is an orange light uh, which will illuminate up when you press it in. So that's off and that's on. And then this is going to serve the boiler. So it's bringing supply from the power supply unit over to the boiler, combi boiler over here on the main side of stuff. So that's more or less straightforward. Mains is just trip it, make sure it works. If it trips, turn them all back on. All the levers should be in that direction. On the 12 volt side of stuff, we have got a switch here and it says system shutdown button. The system shutdown button is if you're going to really put it into a storage situation so you haven't got drainage of your battery. But if you've got that turned off uh, in the off position, so this button is now protruding out of the unit, um, yes, you are conserving the battery itself, the leisure battery, but you're unable then to communicate via the app that you can have on your mobile phone. It won't communicate with the system if it's in the off position. So there's fours and against. If you leave it on, there's a potential that it could drain down your battery over a period of time, especially if you haven't got a solar panel on the roof to charge that leisure battery. But if you have got a solar energy uh, available and you have got the panel on, on fitted to the roof, then there is a chance that it could maintain that battery in good condition and therefore you could communicate with it directly. But let's turn it on, is you push that button in. If I was to take it off again, um, it's gonna. I'm going to have to reset the system, so I'm going to leave it live at the moment. My finger goes over that button quite clearly. If it was to come to a stop, that's the off position. True down. So, just gain access to this distribution. Basically, we've got uh, a 25 amp fuse, a seven and a half, two tens, and a five, etc. 
So they're all nicely colour coordinated to a point. And again, if I load this drop down bed box flap to gain access, it will tell us here that we could potentially have 13 fuses. But in our case, we're only actually using 10. If it's uh, 13, we're into a motorhome. The last three are all to do with motorhome use. So again, here, number one is a 25 amp fuse. It's white in colour and it serves the battery charger. 25 amp fuse, white in colour, and it serves the battery charger. That is quite correct. We've got a green light on next to that, uh, so I know it's working. That's the battery charger I'm referring to. Any of the other distribution, it just tells you what it feeds within the caravan as you go down that label there. Uh, it's easy to remember. It's just 1 to 10. We've only got 10 fuses in that particular housing area there. The next bit that you would come to to distribute the 12 volts within the caravan is coming up to the command panel and the command panel is covered in a separate link that we will be uh, sending on with any videos that we uh, accompany this PSU unit. Many thanks for listening to this video.